As simple as it sounds, one thing that I am yet to figure out how to make properly is stew. And when I say stew, I mean regular stew that you eat with white rice. I feel like a way to attract madness to yourself is to decide to plan your own Nigerian wedding. After I got engaged, there were so many people or so many comments, right? I remember one voice note I was listening that somebody was like, Congratulations, Dima, so finally, <laughs> finally, you're engaged. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, dim my hair. Today's video is a QA and a and in so many ways I feel like this is going to be a relationship QA. and a At first I was looking at all the questions, I was taking a quick glance and I was like why am I getting all these relationship questions and I was like ah this is the first personal Q&A that I am doing since my engagement. I'm seeing a lot of questions that I've answered before and I'm also just seeing a lot of questions that cater to relationships and I think I might indulge you guys in this video and just kind of answer some of them. There are also questions that don't even have anything to do with this topic and we'll answer those as well. But um, maybe I'll do maybe 20, maybe less just so that this video is not too long. A lot of the questions are like repeated questions. So I want to also answer them just once, okay? Before we get into the questions, I want to say a very big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I've been doing therapy like back to back. Like I told you guys a couple of videos ago that I'm back to doing therapy full time. And this is like my second month and it's really, really, really helping me. I am in the process of wedding planning right now. And when you get into the stage, guys, there's so many egos that you have to navigate there are so many opinions that you have to take in it can be a, a bit overwhelming sometimes and just so that maybe you're I, I got to a point where I just felt like I had to start talking to someone just so that I don't go a bit mad and so that I'm also processing a lot of things in a healthy manner so therapy has come in really really handy I just remembered my last session and how funny it was because my therapist just was like how have you been and I said it talking in emo, like I said, they're rapping in emo from the beginning to the end of my session. It was so funny to me thinking about it. She knew that it was one of those days where I did not have it in me to begin to explain some things in English. So we had a very good session. At the end of it, she gave advice, said, just like, I don't know, like she really, really understood. It's like when you feel like someone can relate on so many levels. And then at the end of it, she gave me take home assignments and just said things to me that really, really helped with the way that I was feeling so I started the session feeling a bit like and then by the end of it I was more calmer and I felt like I had a plan you know so if you do not know who or what better help is better help is a platform they have a website and mobile applications that will connect you to a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful unbiased advice starting therapy can be really hard for different reasons access to a professional in your area could be a problem there's also some social stigma still attached to it in different parts of the world including here in nigeria i've been doing therapy since 2021 and I remember before I started, it was one, a bit difficult even finding somebody that I felt like was just trustworthy or somebody who was professional enough to talk to. And then two, it was also one of those things that I remember not even telling a lot of people that I was considering because I didn't want them to think, you know, do you get? I didn't want them to think that something because people can move weird sometimes. So basically what I'm trying to say is that better help solves these two problems. One, they will match you to one of over 30,000 licensed therapists in their network, which is a wider range of expertise than you know you have access to in your area and then two you're doing therapy in your house where whatever space you choose at your own time in a way that is convenient for you there are so many options one you could choose the option of video call just like your regular video call the type of video call you would do on any electronic device that you have you know you look at your therapist your therapist is seeing you you're seeing your therapist and you guys have a very good session there is the option of like audio call where you, you just talk to your therapist it's like you're on the phone with anybody okay and then there's a chat option where it's instant messaging I've used this feature a couple of times where you're just chatting you don't want to use your voice but you also have a good session so basically what I'm trying to say is that it's at your own time it's at your own convenience and it's also very very flexible as well you're not boxed into something that makes you uncomfortable it's not go 
to a clinic or go to a facility or wherever or what, wherever you meet the person in person or nothing at all okay depending on how you're feeling on a giving day there's an option to match that if for any reason you think that your therapist is not a good fit i've explained that this is so common when it comes to starting therapy i even had this issue in the beginning you have the option to switch your new therapist at no additional cost and without worrying about things like insurance and who is in your network it's an option that they make readily available for you mental health is a very important thing and i see people commit to diet i see people commit to going to the gym i see people committing to so many things and i think that therapy is also something that is worth committing to especially if you believe that it's something that you need so why not consider it you know to get started all you have to do is to go to www.betterhelp.com dimma this link is also going to be provided in the description box just fill out the questionnaire that is provided to you at sign up this is going to help them understand you and also help them match you properly okay once you do this you're going to be matched with a therapist in most cases within 48 hours or less so if you think that you might benefit from therapy consider better help like i said the link is going to be in the description box is www.betterhelp.com slash dimma if you click on the link it's going to take you straight to the better help website clicking on the link also helps support this channel and it gives you 10 percent off your first month on better help just to connect with therapists and see if it helps you okay so the first question here is from chica underscore m and she's like hey munye this is the first time anybody has addressed me this way but she's saying is there any motivation to stop inconsistency i'm not going to lie to you and say that i have a hack or that i have perfected this because at the end of the day like i also know that i have real life reasons why i could be inconsistent sometimes however the one thing that i'll say is just like let your end goal motivate you like maybe kind of sometimes think about them as consequences in a way that that is healthy actually let that just kind of spur you on but i think that that's the only hack if somebody else uh, or advice or not hack if somebody else has a better reply to this please share it in the comment section but for me i'll just say let your dream or your goals because if you actually have it set in whatever it is that you're doing even if it's like just a goal for different stages if you have that before you then it it affects just the way you go at it you know in a positive way i think so yeah i think think of your goal think of also the consequences of not going for something as hard as you are at that moment just think of what you want to achieve like i said in a healthy way or and don't fix it in a way that isn't healthy this is from i am jessica claire and she's asking how are you doing dim dim i'm well thank you and she says i hope wedding preparation is not stressing you at all i'm not gonna lie the past two weeks have been a bit stressful and you know the mind-blowing part is that i'm having people say oh you've not even started there is more to see in the front and when i tell you people that this line of response okay it makes me want to pull my hair because i'm like i've just come out of a phase of it now where like and it wasn't just me and it wasn't my partner where you're just kind of trying to navigate certain things but hey and people are telling me i've not started truly i also know that i have not started you know like i think going into this you kind of think about vendors you think about people that you might have issues with at a point or just try to keep like on track and all of that but i promise you guys there will be small small things in between that you did not even think will be a problem that can wear its head sometimes but overall i'm not stressed i kind of had a flu last week and i feel like maybe the amount of talking i had to do the week before led to that but guys like i am actually not stressed at the moment i really thank god for life and i thank god for the opportunity to be able to do what i'm even doing now so the same person is also asking i don't want to answer more than two questions from one person but she's also asking how are you really doing you deserve all the happiness and celebration you're getting thank you so much okay there are three questions from ma i'm not going to answer this one but thank you so much you're so sweet the second main question from her is i know that after every high time we can start to feel so low and i think that that actually came before the first question that i answered this is actually a very good thing to highlight but it hasn't necessarily been the case for me i took my time i think a lot of you actually don't know this but i actually took my time like the, there was a, a 
almost a month between actually getting engaged and me posting it on social media and it was because i wanted to take my time to actually absorb what had happened basking it bask not basking it bask in it you know soak it all up and everybody was like oh they loved the fact that i was doing that and like i felt like just be present in that moment i didn't want it to be overshadowed with like noise guys the day that i posted my engagement on social media like i posted it and i ran out of the room like i dropped my phone and i ran away because my phone just started blowing up okay i think that around the time where like the overwhelming parts came from all the engagement like not engagement sorry yeah engagement is the right word but from all the like like people now reaching out and even just messages on social media around that time i feel like i was mentally prepared so i didn't go from high to low i kind of paced things in a way that made that not the case i would say a lot of people here are saying invite me to your wedding <laughs> ah! guys i'm so sorry the reason why i'm laughing is at this point i don't know the size of the place where we're going to do this thing okay but um i see a lot of people saying invite me invite me but people are even asking me if i'm going to live stream it ah boss my head a lot of people here are also asking when is your wedding coming up i honestly cannot answer that question right now because i don't even know if i know that's how plenty of things are happening at once okay another person is asking can i get an invite your wedding there's so many of these yes i'm going to try to skip them okay so someone is saying have you started planning your wedding i'm getting married in august and i feel like time is flying girl can i relate because initially i was like uh but then now even when you're hearing things like nine months nine months is not looking enough so i get this feeling but we are kind of at the early stages now i would say so someone is asking puleng motsu africa i hope i pronounced that well is asking do you follow a certain health regimen you look out of this world this is such a sweet thing to say to me thank you so much um i wouldn't say that i follow a regimen at the moment but i think that there's so much that i've actually actively tried to cut out of my diet you know there's so many things that i don't drink like soda and stuff like a long time ago i even stopped drinking those things because i remember like when i was in uni i put on all the sweets because i was like drinking soda like almost on a daily basis there are also like things that i've just actively like i'm very conscious about now like deep fried things just a lot of things that have carbs i'm very very conscious about putting fiber and just bringing a lot of healthy fiber in to my diet now and eating vegetables as much as i can you know stuff like that but i don't have any very like strict regimen i would say you know maybe in the future i would have something but right now not really so she's also asking which camera do you use to shoot your content it's clean with like four ends or three ends thank you i use um this one that i'm using right now is a canon 5d mark 4 right and for my vlogs i use a sony a6400 i've had these two cameras for at least five years four to five years now because i bought them in 2019 and the good thing about investing in good gear because i remember when i bought the eos 5d bro i had to shelve out like 2000 something this camera was so freaking expensive this was in 2019 so i cannot imagine what this camera is selling for now but i remember that i paid almost three thousand dollars for this particular camera the one i'm using to talk to you guys now and then my vlogging camera was like maybe about 800 dollars and i remember i was crying as i was buying these things the lens was also like 1000 something dollars and around the time if you if you actually watch my vlogs consistently like if you've been watching me since 2019 you guys knew around the time i i did all these upgrades because i would share the reason why i'm kind of saying it and also mentioning amounts honestly i cannot begin to imagine what these costs going by today's exchange rate but the reason why i'm explaining this like this is that they are worthy investments i have not bought a new camera since 2019 that's a long time ago that's it that's almost five years i think is it with 2020 2021 2022 2023 yeah it's almost five years so the thing about spending good money and actually investing in good gear is that you always get your money's worth than buying something cheaper and in a year or two you've had to replace you know so those are the cameras that i use i always have a list of all the things i use in the description box so if you actually want a direct link to buy check the description box someone is asking here dima how are you i want to introduce retinol serum the inky list one to my routine please advise retinol i will always say yes to i haven't tried retinol from the inky list so i cannot speak about their retinol retinol specifically but i think that retinol is good always a good idea guys it is currently burning no 
yes born in actually in nigeria the heat is too much i am sorry normally i'm able to do videos without the air conditioner coming on but i can't for this video okay unless you people want me to dissolve so i'm hoping that you guys can hear me regardless okay i've moved the microphone closer let's continue hopefully this is not too much of a problem this is from chibondo and she's asking do you think suffering is necessary not challenges hard times because i don't think so this is one of those questions that is actually going to lead me or is leading me to think now because i wouldn't say that i think that suffering is necessary i wouldn't also say that oh like there's something that like if you've not suffered then you're missing out on something in life or there are things that you don't know what i would say is that there is always something to learn I suffered in 2021 and in so many ways I think that the version of me that you guys really really like right now or you guys have enjoyed and loved the past two years would not exist if not for the suffering I suffered in 2021 it taught me a lot of things even when it comes it came to human beings even my approach or the way I thought about work if you guys notice like I've slowed down like I'm doing still doing as much as I can when I can but there's a kind of aggression that I would come at when it comes to work back then that like there's always something to learn so I wouldn't say that like somebody needs to suffer in order for the person to be a good person but some of the people who are the most resilient people I know in this life some of them have suffered on, in, one, in one way at one point or the other the thing is that there has to be a takeaway whether you like it or not there's so many that life will so many things that life will teach you when you're going through something really heavy so yeah a lot of you are also saying hi dima just congratulations on your engagement without saying anything further thank you so much guys like i have gotten so many messages emails everything already and the fact that some of you are still congratulating me kisses thank you <laughs> So someone here is asking, do women contribute financially to wedding ceremonies or is it just the men? Omo, I don't know. I think it comes down to what your background, your financial situation, what you also want to do, you know, and I'll explain why. A lot of the times, especially with African weddings or Nigerian weddings, right? If let us say now that it was just me and my fiance that wanted to go and get married, like we don't, nobody else do you get like i don't think that we'll have more than 150 people there just going by the two of us the people that we know but african weddings or nigerian weddings and Igbo weddings they tend to be such a community affair that a lot of people it's not just you your parents is also an opportunity for them to celebrate and call people so the way it tends to go most of the time and this is also going by conversations that i've had with a lot of older people or people who got married before me at this point is if there are things that they want, like desperately, they, they, a lot of them are actually very proactive and be like, oh, we really want this and we're not even asking you to do it. We want to do it. So that's where their contribution comes in from. So the second angle, like I'd say to come from, from this is that there's sometimes you people can just have an agreement and then maybe there's one eccentric, skill skill thing. I don't know how to explain it that you really, really want that does not make sense to anybody. I don't know. I just, I just feel like there will be things, there might not will, I won't say will, but there might be things depending on what your financial situation situation is depending on you and your partner depending on the family where you might want things because i've seen situations of heard from people say oh they wanted this the parents said they didn't want this and because the parents said that they didn't give up they had to go like sort it out themselves that's in a situation where like a lot of people are already involved in the planning process i've also seen brides say things like oh there are things that they consider to be very very important that after like they've had conversations around the things that both like both of you have an agreement on how things would go specifically and then you now wake up one morning and decide that you want something else if it's and some of them will just kind of explain to me how they just go on ahead and do it especially if they don't really have the time to start convincing their partner since they had had certain conversations a long time ago so in some cases you might end up having to in some cases an agreement you will have straight up that you would have it depends on background it depends on like parents sometimes for nigerian weddings it depends on you and your partner too okay hi dims how are you doing not a question just want to say i love you i love you too okay so someone here is asking what are the things that men do that irritated you in your relationships guys there are so many and i don't think that this video is enough but the thing i just want to say is that i think that one of the more recent ones like that i think i started seeing towards like i think after i hit 30 where men sometimes banking on your desperation 
for them to move mad. And you always confuse them when you be like, I don't understand, why do you want me to be okay with this type of shitty behavior? But a lot of them are programmed to think that maybe from your late 20s, early 30s, you're supposed to be so desperate that anything should go. Like, you're supposed to be so desperate that you really should not have a strong opinion, op opinion sorry, on certain things. You're, you should be desperate enough not to have any agency or something like that. It's, it's a bit weird. But yeah, another thing again, actually, and this is following a conversation that I was having with a loved one recently. And then it also reminded me of when I had had men do stuff like that to me in the past is when there's this thing that men do, whether consciously or unconsciously, where they want you, they kind of see that you're a bit out of their reach reach okay so what they do is they begin to attack those things that they feel make you like inaccessible to them and that just kind of maybe put you a bit out of their league so t sometimes it could be work sometimes sometimes it could be your plans sometimes it could be your career sometimes it could be your earnings they make it such of a big deal and make it something that you, you like you're so uncomfortable even acknowledging right or bringing up because they understand that they could potentially keep you away and it is such a stupid thing to do and most times like it will it, it would work on maybe younger insecure women sometimes who are still kind of just becoming just self-aware and understanding themselves it used to make me laugh that you will see that in your big age when even 30 29 men will still try just to see what they can get away with and it's just so funny to me you know so yeah just things like that like i find those things used to irritate me to no end okay it's because you think that you're smart but i can see through you it's very and that's also i feel like why some of them have such a problem with older women sometimes and it's because they know that you can see their bullshit from a mile away especially some of the tricks they know that will typically work on people who did not know themselves yet it wouldn't work on you her own kind of natural is asking me will i still vlog after i'm married we shall see Okay, I don't see how I should, I don't know. It's not something I see that I'll just stop immediately after. But I'm also not going to say anything to you guys here. But will I still be doing YouTube? Of course I will be doing YouTube. I will still be vlog. Like, honestly, the answer to that is most likely yes. That's what I think it will be. So Faith McDoll is asking, what values are you committed to? Mostly the godly ones, you know? empathy kindness love all those things i try as much as possible with them so ihuam Bara is asking me how do i manage everything that i have to do without breaking down knowing when to take a break if not you're in trouble because if your body forces you to take a break you're not going to like it so just knowing when to take a break i think is very very important that when menya is asking how many books do you read in a month and what are your book selections based on reviews this is a very good question i typically would read two books in a month on a good month okay i've been reading one book for two months now and it is because i can't move past it i'm really struggling with this book it's a book that a lot of people have loved i've even posted something about it and people were telling like i was so surprised by the amount of people that told me that they did not finish this book okay but to me i do not like abandoning books and i'm at that point now where for the past two months i have not done the amount of reading i was doing for the rest of the year because i feel like i have to finish this book to continue right so but on a on a good month two books a month how do i select the books that i read honestly by reviews to be honest like personal recommendations are good and fine but i also know that it's a lot of the time it's 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 about taste so i like to go on amazon especially even if i don't end up buying the book from amazon and i buy it from a local bookstore i go on amazon and i go on goodreads and i read reviews on the particular book and the reviews help me finalize my buying decision Okay, so Sibusis, what's my question? I don't know if I pronounced that right, my love. Forgive me. I have observed that you are particular with details. So will you be planning the wedding yourself? I do like, I am particular with details, actually. That's a very good observation. But I will not be planning my wedding myself. Like, I feel like that's a recipe for madness. I feel like a way to attract madness to yourself is to decide to plan your own Nigerian wedding. No. Like, actually, if you're, it's going to be at least moderately sized or moderate size, it's just too much. So I don't think that I will be doing so or I will not be doing so. In the future, will you be keen to share your marriage life and kids on YouTube? I honestly don't know. The thing about it is that I know that a lot of you who look at me closely probably know, but I'm actually a very, very private person. And I just know how to share things that I'm very, very comfortable with. I'm also like... 
very like okay with you can say whatever you want to say to me or about me but when you're saying stuff about people that i loved like whatever you get you take so for me i don't know i can't say yes or no now but it's one of those things that i will know what to do when the time comes so jenny norps is asking do you regret your tattoo no i think that this tattoo is one of the best decisions i've ever made in my life it grounds me so much and i have been thinking about getting a tattoo since as far back as 2014 right that i ended up getting it in 2022 so many years later and i was also very very particular about the choice the size of it the way where it is positioned in a lot of things is just one of those things that one if i ever got tired of looking at it and i wanted to laser it off i don't think it would be a problem if i also wanted to cover it temporarily i don't think it would be a problem i don't even remember that i have a tattoo these days that's how much i've forgotten but i i'm always still happy whenever i look and i see it so i don't regret it at all so it's one moon is asking me to plug the side pattern wig i wore for the proposal please it's from chrissy bills all my wigs are from chrissy bills at this point she's the only one who makes my wigs so this is from rosebush africa and she's saying no question thank you for giving us quality content from a silent subscriber thank you so much this question is from Chidima and it's how do you handle waiting when everyone around you is getting married and having babies and relocating I've answered this question so many times please refer to my previous Q&A's I think that where you are mentally just matters I am not interested in looking at anybody's journey I don't want to marry because somebody is marrying now because I'll not get married it's not going to be my own that has K leg like I want everything every milestone that I reach or achieve I don't know if I'm making any sense let it be that it it feels right let it be that it does not feel forced like the timing is right it is perfect and it is because i was ready my readiness trumps every other thing trust me my fiance will tell you that so it's just very very important that you feel like it is right okay oh stop like stop looking like we're on just different journeys in this life and i feel like the worst thing you can be doing is looking at other people it will distract you it will keep you miserable it will keep you unhappy why so Shugai underscore is asking, how do you stay sane with how fast things are changing in Nigeria? At least you cry once a week or once every two weeks. What is there to do? Everybody who is running a business is feeling this in one way or the other. If it's not your, if, if it's not even about running a business, even people who are paid, you're getting paid, you go grocery shopping, you see. But then one thing I also see is that things are just, I think post-COVID, even people in the UK, people in the US, everybody is kind of low-key feeling something one way or the other. And I understand. So my thing is you cry, you pray, you put your best foot forward and you try to do the best that you can, you know. This is Faces by Man is asking me, how can I find man that will give me diamond ring and dollars? I don't know. I've said this before that I don't know where they are. My own, they came to find me inside my house. I didn't go out okay but the thing is also that the chances that the person is in your house is low so go out okay jackie nilio is saying you are beautiful you have an aura of peace you are my friend in my head this is so sweet thank you not a question this is jenny max not a question but to let you know that you are simply amazing and i've always admired you and i still do thank you you guys are watching me oh thank you so much so someone is here asking me am i happy I'm 22 and miserable. Does love get better? I promise you it does get better. Because when I was 22, 23, I was a bit miserable as well. And I wish I could go back and tell myself at that age that things would get better. I also think that there's something that happens the older you get as a woman. There's so much that we tend to fixate on and we think about that. When you get, as the older you get, you see that whether you like it or not, you have to drop those things because new things will pop up. And present themselves for you to worry about so you have to choose but what i'm just saying is that a lot of things stop to matter as much as you think they do the older you get especially when it comes to i don't know like when it comes to our relationship with people and stuff like that and love the older you get you you get better at sieving the the the, the weed or the chaff away from the things that have value the older you get, the better you get at just pointing out or no, not pointing, but flagging things that you don't like, figuring out someone's intention sooner. The older, a lot of things come with age. So don't worry, my love. Okay. This one is saying hi, not a question, but just so you know, in my, in my mind, we are friends. So Kambilinu is asking, what about your partner made a second go around worth it? Congratulations again. I've explained this before, but it was just growth, two sides, on the two sides. For me, he had grown. 
me too i had grown and what growth does is that it's in so many ways affects the way you both process with the way that i would process things i for one would say that i was just the older i got personally generally as a person i became more patient with people and there were conversations like a younger me would normally shy away from the older i got i started understanding that these were important conversations that had to be had because i remember the first time around like there were conversations I was trying to initiate especially when i was like withdrawing and stuff like that and i'd be like ah oh, there's no need for me to and women we do this thing where we're like, like oh you should know you should read my mind blah 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 okay um the older i got the better i became at communicating and this the second time around honestly it was the vim he hit the ground running and we've talked about it and he he was like see this second time around you ain't going nowhere do you understand and he put so much effort and energy that i could see it like that everybody could see it that like yeah yeah but basically growth he was more mature he was just more a lot of things and even other things that he was not even more of that were just very specific to me that he was just committed to doing and being and that was it you know so the same person is also asking did your man meet your or talk to your parents before proposing love your videos yes he actually did i didn't know that he had done this but at a point we had kind of like met each other's parents at a point during the course of dating but he had told my parents that he would be proposing and I didn't know. And he did this maybe about a month or so before he proposed. So yes, he actually did this. And my next one is asking, are you a cat person or a dog person? Do you ever consider getting a furry friend? I grew up around dogs. My family always had dogs. My grandparents always had dogs. My sister even has a dog as we speak. And I love dogs. Like, I, I like to be around them, like, short periods of time. I find them very, very cute and they can be very loyal. But then again, I don't, I don't, I just, I feel like I'm too dogs can move mad sometimes cats too i've heard that they're generally cleaner and they're not as dirty as dogs tend to be but then again i don't think i can handle a cat's attitude because i think that i've heard that they come with a lot of attitude sometimes so this is from Ndife Esther and she's asking what type of fragrances do you love and also what's the name of the bodacia perfume I love floral fra fragrances. I've said this a lot of times on this channel. The bodacia perfume that I have is called Jubilee. I think that that one was made for the queen okay before the queen died for the queen's jubilee you know before she died yeah so this is gracie is asking how was your life financially at 22 <laughs> there was nothing like financially at 22 i was where was i i was just rounding up uni i was not working technically i was still taking handouts like, I see a lot of 20-year-olds now who think that they should be making a lot of money. Like, around the time I was 20, I don't know if people know how abnormal, like, some of the things we're seeing now are. And I'm not even saying that it's a bad thing, but trust me, 20-year-old me was not anything financially. I was just never, like, I would never waste money. But yeah, I wouldn't tell you that I also had serious money in the bank. Someone is saying here that I mentioned, so Olivia underscore Alozier is saying you mentioned you were reading the novel Yinka, Where Is Your Husband? How was it? I actually haven't read it. I bought it, but I haven't read it. So Favor underscore Grace is asking, how do you feel now that you, that you are engaged? I feel the same. To be honest, like, there's no extra special feeling that comes with. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I feel the same. So I think that all the feelings that I have now, if, it's, if this is pertaining to my my fiance my partner they already were there before like this is just one of those things that you know has now come attached to it but i don't feel wildly different than i did like before the engagement honestly considering the pace we were going at you know well this is a very beautiful prayer from nora underscore faja i just want to say that you're very pretty miss may god continue to beautify your life and grant you your heart's desires god bless you thank you someone is asking here how does your filming setup look like i'm going to have a link to i have done a whole video on this it's the same thing as the last time in that video i'll have the video the link to that video in the description box so essence nicole is asking big wedding or small and intimate i don't think that the word small and intimate exists in the nigerian vocabulary when it comes to weddings but big actually they actually do like big weddings where everybody come and comes and they have fun and they go i love those Snizzle underscore shizzle. This is looks like a burner account question to be honest. He's saying here, I hope you're good. You mostly look gloomy and unexcited in your recent vlogs. Love and light. I don't think that this is true. And this is my problem sometimes with social media where it makes people very, very anxious of what to put out because 
I'm just doing a mental inventory now of my more recent videos and I don't like I've had times like if you were following me in 2021 when I was really going through it you could tell that I was going through it and not only just you telling I'm always very open about these things most of the time but it can be a bit just like a bit frustrating when you think that you're doing what you typically would do but somebody is looking out for things that you don't specifically think are there and maybe you were a certain way in a couple maybe two vlogs ago or maybe you were just mostly cracking jokes in those two vlogs and all of a sudden you're kind of like being your normal self without cracking jokes and someone is translating that to be you being gloomy and unexcited i think that these are such heavy words to use and they're not true this is why social media can be a bit some and some of you are asking me about like sharing stuff and not sharing stuff and this is a running problem with how people decide to share especially different aspects of their life here because you don't know what somebody is going to decide to interpret or in an interpretation they will decide to put on something that you are just doing normally i am not gloomy i am not unexcited i'm good you know i don't i don't i don't really know what else to say to that question so someone is here saying savannah's underscore essence is saying what is the secret to having a likable personality like yours i honestly don't know like i think that's just one thing i promised myself that i would do very very early on on youtube is to be myself or just on social media is to be myself to be how i would be with my loved ones to express like humor let it be the world reaction i do not create i because sometimes i feel like people need feel like they need to do this and it's create a whole different persona from what you actually have for online so I would just say be yourself and if you're like that the people who like you would like you because there's some somebody else aside her now could even come and say oh they don't even like me because they just don't like my personality but she actually likes my personality enough to say oh what's the secret to it whereas i'm just being myself and what i'm just basically trying to say is just to do you some people will like it and like it so much to even ask how you are the way you are so i'll just say be yourself my darling that's my answer pamela underscore noah is asking me how did you handle brands that couldn't pay for collabs when you first started out when i first started out i was actually in a place where this was mostly fun for me and not work and when a brand couldn't pay and they were very open and upfront about it and said they did not have a budget and they did not think that they could pay but they wanted something from you what uh, how i would respond to that was like okay i actually am curious enough about your products you want to try the bigger you get and the more you have get more of these type of things then you can now begin to select and see what you can afford to do and there'll be seasons in your life where you can only prioritize paying people but the thing is it comes down to you are you at a place where you are and, and, and as long as they also understand Understand that them not paying also means that they shouldn't think that they are entitled to certain things then you should be good I think that if you're okay with them not paying and you're fine and you're curious enough then that it's okay them not paying as long as they understand that it doesn't guarantee them things that's fine so this is from proudly underscore dudu please where do you get your beautiful robes and nightcaps from you always look stunning thank you so my robes are mostly from Primark. Some of them are from brands that I have worked with. So there's a robe I really like that was in a Huda Beauty PR package, for example. My bonnets are always from Amazon. I'm going to have them all linked in the description box, but that's where most of my bonnets are from. A lot of you are asking me how many children do I want to have? That's between me and God, to be honest. So Blessing of Emo is asking, where is your favorite place of all the places you've ever traveled to? and i've said this multiple times i think it's new york i really love new york it's one of those places that i love it because it reminds me a lot of lagos and london and sometimes I, I try to picture my life there i really love the diversity i love new york one place that is high up on my list though now is cappadocia and it's because it's the first place i also ever traveled to with my fiance at the moment it was one of those very relaxed trips where my itinerary wasn't long it wasn't about all the places you had to go shopping you had to do you weren't scrambling around it was we both woke up and we tried to just do just a lot of touristy things together and i really love cappadocia because of that it's one of my favorite places and it's it's a very beautiful place but then the the vibe of that whole trip was beautiful so pure kenyan is asking me what's your definition of healthy hair healthy hair to me honestly is not long hair i am very very vocal about this because i feel like a lot of us 
to us hair is not healthy unless it's growing long i would rather have my edges complete at any given time of the day than have long hair and no edges so basically sorry what i'm basically trying to say is that healthy hair is just when your hair is growing out from your scalp for me it looks healthy it's not shedding too much and it's not thin as well like it's well hydrated and just growing well and growing evenly do you get i don't think that length is a marker for healthy hair so the lady naomi is asking me how do you get yourself to pray and remain in christ i'm struggling it's an intentional thing the way you set out time to do anything and let me tell you like you would have god do miracles for you if you do not in any way like constantly actively seek him and try to maintain your relationship with him you will see that four months down the line you'll be struggling to remember just how happy and grateful you were four months before when God came through for you with a miracle. It's we're so, I don't know what it is, but we're so quick to forget God's goodness. So for you to actually remind it and for it to be at the front of your consciousness or whatever the word is, you have to be very, very intentional about it. Gloria Adjuku is asking me, did you know that you were going to be this great and famous? Great and famous? Those are big words. But honestly, I think that a very, like, a primary school me or secondary school me would never have imagined the type of life that I'm living now. It's making me laugh, but no, I did not anticipate some of it. I think that by uni, I started exploring and dabbling with these type of thoughts, but secondary school and primary school me, could, they will be shocked. So somebody here is asking me, hi Dima, please, how do you navigate long distance relationship? It's getting tough. I feel like I admire people who even like attempt long distance relationships. And it's because for me, eh, I know myself so much as an individual to know that it's not going to be an easy thing for me. But in cases where I feel like it's, it's, I've seen it work out, it's just constant communication, being very, very open with each other. Very, very open. If there's money that also makes seeing each other often possible, then that is also great. So that's that's what I would say, but I also understand how difficult it can be and I'm really sorry that you're struggling. Sorry, darling. So someone is here saying, what is your biggest screw up in the kitchen? I love your vlog so much. And this is from CJ1021. This is actually a very good question. As simple as it sounds, one thing that I am yet to figure out how to make properly, and I have cleared a lot of recipes that I'm so good at these days, is stew. And when I say stew, I mean regular stew that I eat with white rice. I have not perfected that at all and I feel like I really really need to do something about the fact that I haven't perfected it I got a cookbook recently and I've started cooking I've cooked at least two recipes and they were so good so I'm going to try the stew recipe in that cookbook but I really struggle with stew I don't know why a lot of you are asking me to please film more videos with my sisters the problem is that I am the only person out of my siblings that live in Lagos so I tend to see my sisters when I travel to different places because they are very far from me but the next time they come whenever they come i go to see them the trips are always so short like every time they visit we don't have the time to actually shoot but i will try as much as possible to do a video with them which whoever comes around first soon someone is asking me here when i make a video of myself talking with my phone in the car do i use the front or back camera i actually use the back camera when i'm recording with my phone i make conscious effort to actually always use the back camera because that is the good camera i use an iphone 13 pro max i don't know how good the front camera of the 14 and 15 are but i use the back camera so people are asking me where my bracelets are from and honestly i've gotten a lot of questions so let me remove my watch and kind of answer so this first one that has a d on it is from a brand called Medjuri, I think. I'm going to have their details in the description box, but they do gold and diamonds. And I got this bracelet for about 200 pounds back in, I'm hoping that you guys can see. So back in, um, is it focused? It's not, but back in 2021. Then this second one, if you guys also remember, this horseshoe one that I have that also looks like a U, I just feel like it's a play on my initials. I got it when I was in Dubai last year, during my, like for my birthday trip. So we went to the gold souk in Dubai and this was really nice and I got it. Okay, so someone is asking, I don't know if this is a personal question or not, so I don't want to call names. Do you think that schooling, being a student in hinders your marriage. One thing I would say is that I don't think that it's easy. My mom did uni, like, like after my mom went, to, went, did uni after she had about three children or something like that. And I remember my mom as a student. It's just not the easiest thing. And I remember like she was even pregnant when she was doing her project defense. Like thinking about it now, knowing what I know now, it's, 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 it's just, it's, it's not an easy thing. So I also see how it could be difficult, but I feel like if you have a supportive partner, 
that would help you somebody's asking me so new underscore trauma is asking i've been watching your youtube since 2019 how have you managed to stay so elegant this is so sweet because you're legit calling me elegant but i feel like i don't i really don't i have a video on how to be sophisticated and elegant i'm going to have that linked in the description box <laughs> okay i have a very good question here so rachel my darling underscore Duni is asking me, anyone told you those comments of it's about time after engagement or any of that and your response, guys? After I got engaged, there were so many people or so many comments, right? I just told myself, like, the man, a lot of this is coming from a good place. Some of them not a good place because I got messages. I remember one voice note I was listening that somebody was like, congratulations, Dima, so finally, <laughs> finally. You're engaged. A lot of people were like, oh, it's about time. That's the thing about addressing things like this is that you also know that for some, a good number of these people, it's, it's love. It's beautiful. Like, they really do wish you well. But sometimes it's condescending and you can tell where it's coming from. So my response to it, my darling, was a simple thank you. But my advice to people is, and this applies to so many things, like, Women who you see without children, women who you see trying, women who are not married, when you, you personally think that they should have been married, not caring what they think or not, remove certain words from your vocabulary. There's no reason to be telling somebody finally, as if the person told you. I don't want, like, sometimes it's not really nice, or things like it's about time, oh, ha, you know? Bro, there's some things that, like, I don't even want to repeat here, but yeah, I have people say things along those lines, and I just say thank you and I move on. That's it. So, Rosemary is asking, what's it like to trust and hope in God? It's not the easiest thing, but I also think that it's worth it, because I can tell you that I'm a living testimony of just trust. Like, if you, like, trust, hope in God... Do you understand? It's never easy when you're doing it, but I also feel like if you do it with faith, the rewards are beautiful for every aspect of your life. Someone here is saying, does a lady's value really decrease to a man when he sleeps with her on the first date? The man should be more worried about if his value decreases to... Like, I just feel like these conversations are so crazy. And it's the way men weaponize things as if sometimes they believe that they are the only ones who have the right. Because this is all, it's very misogynistic, very patriarchal, this type of thinking. That you lose something when you sleep with a man. Whether you enjoyed it or not, is nobody's business. Then they did not lose anything. It's something that they acquire. Which is is crazy because it's it might sound like a very small thing but then the overall language when it comes to things like this or what I'm also taking away from it is that sex is not something that women should enjoy it's something that you give women give it men take it and enjoy it but you 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 take it and you give it and you lose something please Okay, someone is asking, how long did you date your baby? <laughs> this is Ghosty Chibuke asking, how long did you date your baby before he proposed? A year and maybe five months? Maybe a year and four months, something like that. Yeah. So someone is asking me to advise single ladies who have turned 30 and they've not found love and they're still looking. My dears, my thing is to just calm down. I feel like that's the only thing I'll do because the truth is that I did not find love when I was 30 as well. Do you understand? I feel like don't stress it too much. Honestly, I feel like in so many ways, a man came along when I was not thinking of a man. That was the thing. Around the time that he came and was speaking specifically English, I was like, listen, the last thing in my mind now is a man, okay? He had to convince me to think of man. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that I feel like sometimes when you're not even interested is when these things happen. Guys, I have so many questions here. I really cannot answer all of them. So I think I'm going to end this Q&A here. I might do a part two and answer the rest. We'll see. But my story views in the past recently they've doubled so basically what i'm seeing here is that i have way more entries than i typically would have and i cannot answer all the questions but i think i've answered like the most popular ones so i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one Mwah.